There I am, parked in the corner. It's the least sandy of all the spots. I already almost got stuck in the sand, so I gotta be thoughtful. <laughs> so we're at the Red Creek Blue Way. This times like this, I wish I had a kayak. After after like three nights of being in Walmart parking lots, I'm so happy to be back in a place that is this beautiful. It was a great drive in. It is a bit of a sandy lot and there's going to be hopefully no rain for a while. <laughs> Please let there be no rain for a while. And I've picked a spot I believe where I can hang out for a little while. And... <sighs> just so nice to be someplace like this again. I, I've been, you know, I think sometimes too much gray skies and too many parking lots in industrial areas give me the blues. <laughs> I am very happy to be back someplace where I am surrounded by nature. What a relief. Well, I had to leave that spot. Here's the reality sometimes. Um, sometimes, even though they look great, the people who come and go, not so great. And I'm not being judgmental. Um, I can just kind of tell when certain kinds of things are going on, and I just thought it was a better idea for me to move on. So I'm back at a Walmart. <clears throat> Not my favorite place to be, but at least there's a nice little grassy hillside here, and I got to park in front of it, and so I've got this nugget on the leash, and she can be outside for now. So, not so bad. It'll be a beautiful sunset and a beautiful sunrise, right? I had to deal with some tough stuff today. Stuff that's remember me. And I'm doing my best to deal with it. And asking for help from the right people. And uh, receiving that help. So I'm really grateful for that. So I am going to continue enjoying the sunshine considering we had so little of it for the past bunch of days and yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to shut this off, shut off my phone and uh, do practice a little self care. Alright, we'll see you guys in a little. So this may seem weird, but I am coming to you from a bathroom in a museum that I was suggested to come to here in Mississippi. I'm in Ocean City. And it was suggested that I come see the work of Walter Anderson. And I am going to show you this quote that just moved me almost to tears. Now I know why I'm supposed to be here today. Beauty is born of the rain. So I'm gonna go investigate.
I just had the most fabulous, fabulous experience in that museum. I, it's the Walter Anderson Museum of Art in Ocean City, Mississippi. Go. That's all I can say. Go, 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 go. I showed up, Providence, right? It happens to be free right now until the 27th, I think, of March. The sign said on the door. I'm not sure. I, I could be wrong. Call ahead. Make sure. They are accepting donations. So if you can donate, please do. I mean, for me, it was perfect because I'm down to $11 in my account. So I couldn't pay today. But, I mean, wow. So this guy used to go on these journeys um, on his bicycle. He would travel to places like Pennsylvania and New York and camp out on the side of the road and paint as he went and catalog his journeys. And one of the final things he did, or one of the things he did, he found a boat. I'm not sure of the timeline. I'm still, I think, speaking gibberish because I'm so mind blown by my experience with that artwork and so he traveled to an island horn island i think it was called um in a little dinghy that he found and he tried to get it back to his its original owner and no one claimed it so he would row back and forth to this island and he would use the boat as his shelter and he would draw and paint the wildlife around him and he painted on all sorts of surfaces you know so one of which was wallpaper the reverse side of old wallpaper <laughs> but most prevalently it was typing paper you know, and I've been so picky about my surfaces and because of my own history as a preservation picture framer. So it has been really hard for me to let go of my amazing arches paper, which I love to paint on. It is a fabulous surface. Please, just know. Arches paper is definitely a fabulous surface. But oh my gosh, those murals, those murals he did with just house paint, you know, and after talking to the curator and I got to meet their preservation framer, which was so cool. And I congratulated her on being able to get a job at a place that really appreciates what she can do. I never, I mean, I felt appreciated by the people who appreciated me. You know, I had customers who appreciated what I did, but many people just didn't appreciate the lengths I wanted to go to for them to preserve their artwork. Um, so I congratulated her on finding a job where she gets to do what she loves and for an, a beautiful place and for beautiful artwork. Ugh, just my heart my heart I found and Betsy you really do know me <laughs> we've known each other for such a brief period of time but you really do know me I'm so just blown away and I'm so excited to paint now. Like, you have no idea. I've been... I've been enjoying breaking free, right? I was getting so photorealistic, as you've heard me say, if you've been watching my videos. And if not, you're welcome to go back and watch some. Um, but yeah, I was getting so photorealistic and really just driving home each location where I've been and getting away from 
uh, just letting myself be a part of letting myself be a part of the process. So letting the pigment be a part of the process, letting the brushes be a part of the process, let the surface be a part of the process and not fighting so much and allowing it just to happen, right? Instead of pushing for an end result, just allowing whatever the result is to be. And I am so rejuvenated by this experience and I may have a little change in plans. <laughs> Shocker of all shocks, right? <laughs> but I'm not going to share that with you just yet. Um, not even in this video at all. Um, I still have some processing to do and um, decision making to do and you know, I can't go anywhere at the moment, um, not very far anyway. I have about just under three quarters of a tank of gas, so I can go somewhere, just which direction I'm not sure. So I came to this public lot here in Ocean City, and I think this is where I'm going to end the video. And I'm going to say thank you all for joining me today, and thank you for coming along on my journey. I can't thank those enough who have contributed. It has made this all possible. My wildest dreams come true every single day because of you. And I thank you. And for all the emotional support that I receive. That's priceless. That's priceless. I can't put a price tag on that. Um, I'm grateful for it and uh, I can only hope that in one way shape or form I can offer it to somebody else you know in order to provide some kind of karmic reciprocity you know um, yeah so I am leaving you on a very gleeful emotional note I suppose it's been a tricky bunch of days and I'm just glad that it's winding up like this. I can't even. I just, yeah, see, I'm struck dumb. <laughs> this just shows you how. Because <laughs> you know me, I'm never at a loss for words. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to go. Um, and I'm going to open disconnect my battery so I can open up my doors and get some fresh air in here and let Nugget out on her leash so she can wander a little bit. I've parked close to this little chip area so she can kind of mess around and enjoy herself and it's kind of a private little corner of the lot, which is nice. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>